Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and today we are going through two multiple choice questions from the 2023 external exams for Queensland's general mathematics strand. And this was from paper one. Let's get straight into that. This is for decision mathematics. Our first question, question three, the duration in minutes of all activities in a project is shown. So we've got seven activities, PQRS, TUV, and their times that they took in minutes underneath. The question says to us, the critical path of the project is PRSV. What's the earliest completion time if the project starts at 11 a.m.? So first of all, we need to have a bit of a think about the question. The first thing you might be thinking is, do I need to actually draw this? Well, the answer is no. We actually know we don't have enough information. We don't know what's a prerequisite of what. However, we do know the critical path, which is when we think about the critical path, it's that last thing we decide as we work our way through the network. It's the thing that determines how long the project is going to take overall. It's the shortest possible time that you could get the project completed in. Okay, so if we know what the critical path is, we're going to add the length of the project together, P, R, S and V. So we'll just take those numbers and we're going to add those together to find out exactly how long this critical path is. When we add them up, we get to 130 minutes or 2 hours and 10 minutes. Now, the way I worked out that was 2 hours and 10 minutes is that there are 60 minutes in 1 hour. 60 times 2 makes 120 and that means 2 hours with 10 minutes left over. If you try and do 130 divided by 60 on your calculator, it gets a little bit more complicated because it's going to show 2 point something. And whatever that point something is, people are always confuse with the minutes, which is not correct. So just remember that calculators work on decimals and our time is actually based on 60, not 100. Okay, so we know that the time started at 11 a.m. So if we add, to add the two hours to the 11, we get to 1 p.m. Add 10 minutes more, we get to 1.10 p.m., which gives us the only possible answer being B. And here's our second question for the video. Question eight, activities P and Q. Now I know they're the same letters, but they've got nothing to do with the other question. So put that one out of your mind. Let's focus on this one. Activity P and activity Q. One has a duration of three and we can see it's got no prerequisite, which means it's a starting activity. And straight after this one happens, after P happens, Q happens, boom, boom, straight away. So because Q has a prerequisite, it means it can't start until P is over, which means Q can't start until three minutes has lapsed. So that's its earliest start time. Now, because they are the only activities we're told about in the particular process, um, then it's, and it's on the critical path, it has to go boom, 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 one after the other. So the next one is going to take place, which is Q, straight after that. So the latest it can start is also three. There's no fill time in the middle um, between the two activities. They've got to continue one after the other in order for the project to be finished in the shortest possible time. And that's the whole point of what a critical path is. So that means our only possible option is A. Final question on decision mathematics on the multiple choice section. I do apologize if I pronounce these names incorrectly. They do look quite unfamiliar for most of us. Four athletes, Ewan, Fadia, Gita and Hannah, compete in three events, the javelin, the long jump and the sprints. And we're given a table to tell us which athlete does what event. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through A, then B, then C, then D, and see if we can get a match from the bipartite graph to the table. So if we start over here with Ewan, Ewan should be going to long jump and to sprints. They go to javelin instead. So that's not correct. We can don't even need to look at it. The rest of it will just rule out that first one. Let's jump over to B. Ewan to LNS. Well, yes, they are going to LNS. Good. For Deer, should be just to javelin. Yes, this is looking like a possibility. Gita should be going to just S. Sprints, correct. Hannah, J and L. Oops, only J. So that means we have to rule out B. Let's look at C. Once again, Ewan goes to L and S. Yes, looking promising. Fidia go to J only, correct. Gita to S only, correct. And Hannah to J and L, correct. C looks like a good option. Let's just double check D in case we've missed something. Ewan should be going to L and S. No, they're just going to S. We can rule out D and that means C is our only possible answer. Well, 
I sure hope you found this visit, um, video helpful. Here's how you can engage with me and the Clutchy Maths further. First of all, you could like, subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you always know when the next video is ready to watch. And I'm sure you're waiting with bated breath for the whole series so that you can be preparing for your external exams. Why not tell somebody? You could tell us in the comments. I love to hear the feedback from people who are watching. You could also share the video with your class on your class one note or even with a friend or a family member. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram or why not even consider the new feature on YouTube super like. Look for the dot 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 up near where you subscribe, the thumbs up. And that's a way you can give back to the channel um, to say thank you. Buck or two always helps. If you've got any questions at all, maclutchymass at yahoo.com is the best place to reach me. Awkward answering questions in the comments. It's much easier over email. Don't forget to jump onto our partner's website, exam-insights.com. This is your one-stop shop for all of the 2023 and previous year's exams and exam solutions. It's a wonderful free resource for students and teachers. Well, thank you so much for watching today. I'm Nellie McClutchy. Have a wonderful day.